Today I will do another look at my E-Flight Micro Draco. It is a great looking plane. I just want to see this one in the air. Let's go outside and fly this thing. And we're up in the air. Hardly any wind today. Blue sky. You can hear the really low noise prop then also on this plane. And even if I push it just 100%, it's not a noisy RC airplane, which is great. Should have some great speed and agility on this plane. So it's kind of a little bit of a rocket ship when you put the forward battery inside. You also have flaps, which given that this is, I mean, such a small plane, of course they do slow down the plane, but not as much as larger RC planes, which just, um, the flaps have a, a bigger effect. So I've usually just set my timers then for five minutes, and um, I mean, I, I believe that the, most planes are, in fact, in my opinion at least, regardless of kind of size, if you do kind of a sensitive flying, five minutes is really realistic, and then on some planes you can maybe go like eight or even 12 minutes, if they're really efficient. But this Spectrum 4S 300 milliamps battery, they are really, really tiny. And they really cannot hold too much juice. So if you push this plane, it will run out of power. Meaning that the speed controller will warn you and you will run into a low voltage cutoff. So I really don't dare to just to keep on pushing this plane, although I would like to push it 100% much more than I do. I know that we will just suck the juice out of the battery. So that's just kind of a bummer. And probably the reason why I do not fly this Draco more. So in some ways it does just fly kind of as slow as some of my larger RC airplanes. Of course, I, I, I think that if I am just going straight, I could probably just fly this one really, really slow as it is lightweight in comparison to larger RC airplanes. So with a bit of traffic just passing me, this plane becomes you can hardly hear it. So to me then the, the perfect kind of a size range is 1.1 meter to 1.3 meter. I've just said this um, many times before, but that's, that's just the size that suits me. So you could argue that, well, hey, a smaller RC plane is always better or a larger RC plane is always better, but there are downsides to both having a small one and having a large one. A small one, you can fly much slower. It's uh, probably just lighter also, so you don't have to have kind of a vast space to fly it. A larger RC plane flies more gentle and, and controlled. You can fly when there is uh, more wind and, and so. But just all these factors then, I think that the uh, it kind of a bolster line to down to kind of the 1.1 to 1.3 meter planes, as they are still also really transportable, and uh, at the same time being visible, able, agile, and handle wind quite well in most cases at least. I mean, if, if they're just crazy wind, I wouldn't really recommend you to fly any RC plane because that would just be a struggle. Unless you have kind of a constant wind and just want to kind of kite your RC plane. So what you're hearing right now is my TX, I've set it up to do uh, just uh, having the log being read out if I have any frame losses and holds. And just uh, listening to this. So 
So I do have one hole, which is an indication of that I have lost total control of the RC plane. It might be just for kind of a one second or something. But th this is also a problem with this Draco then, uh, that you have the reception is not really strong and it's not my NX10. It is kind of the, how the antennas and, and just how, how it's constructed because I have larger RC planes that I just fly and I have no kind of serious um, uh, receiving issues but this plane then if you have a hold there is something you really have to do and with the, this Draco as the disc it all assembled large airplane everything is just mounted I don't know what I can do really I don't know if I can move the antenna or something or if there's antenna just built into the kind of the control board uh, but that's just a to me at least a serious issue time to get this one down last time Call today with this uh, flight then with my micro Draco. Now, eFlight should really market this plane as a 4S only. I know if you just look at their website, it says like you can fly this on a 3S and 4S battery. And usually, if you have kind of the eFlight lineup of RC airplanes, regardless of size, if they say that it flies okay on 3S and you can do 4S on it, you know that okay, 3S it's so fine. I mean, you can do most things, and when you have a 4S battery, you get, will get more agility, more speed just to do uh, when you do kind of maneuvers on RC airplanes. But with when it comes to this plane, I think that 3S is really kind of underspecified. It's so it's so lacking in power, and it's not really fun to fly. Of course, if you guys want to go have something of a docile fly in time, okay, sure, 3S. But I mean, it's such a huge gap then just compared to all the other RC planes that I tried. If you have kind of 3S, it works fine. And on this plane, I think it's just really, really boring. So they should just slap a sticker on it. Just say, this is just a 4S RC plane. And I also think that they should beef up the 4S. So instead of having kind of this, small 300 milliamp that you really do like 400 milliamp then you will have more power and i also think that that would benefit the rc plane because you will have more nose weight which i think is really a good thing i also think that the radio reception then on this rc plane is questionable because i i had just a bunch of uh, frame losses and even one hole just looking at my tx screen afterwards so I mean, that is something that is really a thing of concern because if you have, if you have a hold, that means that even if kind of for a second or so, the plane has just to lost total control from your TX, and then that means that you might just crash your RCA plane. Uh, just looking at the power draw, I think that you have maybe around six amps of power draw, so that's not really too bad. Uh, but it's just something because you have kind of these small JST connectors and they are rated for a little low um, amperage also. So it, it just seems to me that but they could have just made this electronics in this plane better, better red radio receptions, better pick of battery, better battery connection, and it would probably be a better or harsher plane. But this is some thoughts then I have after flying this one for many times then on the E-Flight Micro Draco.